Ernani, libretto by Francesco Maria Piave, first performance on the 9th of March 1844 at the Teatro La Fenice, Venice. On the 5th of September 1843, Verdi wrote to the Marquis Carlo Mocenigo, president of the Teatro La Fenice in Venice, Oh, if only we could do Hernani. That would be tremendous. I know it would be a great deal of trouble for the poet, but my first task would be to try and compensate him. Signor Piave has great facility in versifying, and in Hernani, all he would have to do would be to condense and tighten up. The action is there ready-made and it's all immensely good theatre. 1519, the mountains of Saragossa, castle of Don Rui Gomez de Silva. <laughs> Hernani, whose real name is Don Juan of Aragon, the chief of a gang of bandits, wants to avenge his father's murder and dethrone King Carlo. Hernani sings of his love for Elvira. However, the young girl's hand has already been promised to her uncle, Don Rui Gomez de Silva, against her will. Don Carlo, the King of Spain, arrives at the castle incognito to court Elvira. The girl rejects him, and Hernani comes to her aid. But Carlo recognizes Hernani and makes him flee the castle before Silva arrives. <laughs> Hernani, disguised as a pilgrim, asks for shelter at Silva's castle. Silva confesses to his guest that he will soon be married to his niece, Elvira. When the young lady enters, Hernani reveals his identity. And, in despair, he offers the price on his own head as a wedding gift. Carlo is on the tracks of Hernani, but Silva protects him and helps him to hide. The duet between Don Carlo and Silva is a fine example of the Verdi confrontation between vocal archetypes, bass and baritone. Hernani and Silva make a pact of honour. Hernani offers Silva a hunting horn. If Silva should wish the bandit's death, he has only to sound the horn three times and Hernani will kill himself. Hernani and Silva arrive at the subterranean crypt containing the tomb of Charlemagne. They come across Don Carlo, who has come to claim his right to become Holy Roman Emperor. In Carlo's aria, Verdi condenses Victor Hugo's long monologue 
and it becomes an andante, scored in chamber music style. Hernani and Silva decide to kill Carlo, and they draw lots. Hernani will carry out the terrible deed. This hymn recalls the model used for Va Pensiero and O Signore del Tetto Natio. It is a true battle song that all Venetians identified with, and were able to substitute the Lion of Castile with the Lion of St. Mark, the symbol of Venice. The cannon is fired three times, signalling that Carlo has been elected to the throne. Carlo rules that Hernani and Silva should be put to death. But Elvira pleads with Carlo and he relents. The king gives permission for Hernani and Elvira to marry, while Silva plots his revenge. In the palace of Don Juan of Aragon, no longer the bandit Hernani, the wedding preparations are underway. In the distance, a horn sounds three times. It is Silva, who reminds Hernani of the fatal pact. At first, Hernani attempts to convince Silva to have pity on him. But in the end, he keeps the promise he has made by taking his own life. Hernani has always been, and still remains, an opera that divides people. It is loved or hated. Every time it is performed, it provokes great enthusiasm or ferocious criticism. Hernani was Giuseppe Verdi's first opera to be translated into English. And together with Nabucco, it was the first to be performed in London at the Haymarket Theatre. Despite its highs and lows, Hernani remains one of the few early Verdi titles that theatres can rely on for success, without any doubt. Following the success of the premiere at the Teatro La Fenice in Venice, the publishers Giovanni Ricordi and Francesco Lucca competed for the right to publish the opera. Gaetano Donizetti insisted that Verdi gave it to be performed at the Corinthian Gate Theatre in Vienna. Donizetti himself wrote to the Countess Appiani, I write to you still unsure of what artistic future awaits our Verdi. I hope for him that it will be wonderfully bright. I have no doubt that this will be the case. Hernani was Verdi's first opera to be based on a play by Victor Hugo, the second being Rigoletto, a few years later. In music, Verdi became an unstoppable representative for the force, energy and power of the newly born Romanticism. In the classification of Verdi's most performed operas in the world, Hernani comes in 15th place. In the classification of the most performed operas in the world, 
Ernani comes in 154th place. Thank you.